Welcome to another episode of the Pull List Examiner. This is my weekly video where I take a look at the top three choices of the comics that I'm going to be picking up at my local comic shop. And this week, New Comic Book Day is going to be on April 20th, 2022. So let's take a look at my top three choices. Number three this week on my list is going to be Land of the Living Gods issue number three by Aftershock Comics. This is a very unique comic for me. I have not seen anything done like this before. And the last issue was left on a cliffhanger, which is why I'm putting this in my top three list because I really am looking forward to seeing how they're going to resolve the storyline. No spoilers, but I can say that this comic has been unique because it does what is basically a common theme in comics, the post-apocalyptic theme, but it does it uh, from the perspective where it's set in South Africa and it draws on African culture, themes, and superstitions. And it's something that I have not seen in other comics before. So it's kind of refreshing to see what is a unique storyline and plot. And I'm looking forward to see how they're going to resolve the cliffhanger from last issue. Number two on my list this week is going to be Captain America issue number zero. And to be honest, I'm not exactly sure what the underlying story is going to be and what's going to be presented in this new run. But uh, from what I've looked at online, it says that they're really going to be focusing on the characters and their stories. And what really piqued my interest, I'm not typically a huge Captain America fan, but both myself and my kids, uh, we really liked watching the uh, Falcon Winter Soldier Disney Plus show that was on this past year. And it looks like they're pulling in Falcon into this comic series and they're going to still be focusing on Captain America as well. So I really want to see where we go with this brand new storyline. And if you haven't checked out the cool Alex Ross covers yet, they look amazing. Both the regular covers and uh, the uh, alternate covers are looking pretty good. But I really like the Falcon cover that Alex Ross did. And number one on my list this week is going to be Batman The Night, which is written by Chip Zdarsky. And I have already read the first few issues. This is issue number four. And I really like where they're taking this story. It's a prequel story that looks at a very young Bruce Wayne who is probably way closer to that uh, time period where he was riddled with frustration and angst as he's trying to reconcile the death of his parents with becoming uh, eventually the Batman and this is a really cool prequel story I think Zdarsky is doing a great job I have said on many of my previous videos how much I like the Zdarsky Daredevil run so it's interesting to see him take a dive into Bruce Wayne which is a very similar character to Daredevil in my opinion they both have that uh, brooding darkness about them so one thing that is also interesting now is that DC has announced that Zdarsky is taking over the Batman main title. So it's I'm kind of curious if Zdarsky is going to be setting up some of his storyline from this The Night series that may lead into his writing in the main series. Don't know yet. We'll see where he goes as it starts to come out over the next few months. But in the meantime, I recommend taking a look at The Knight, Batman The Knight, if you can. Thanks again for watching the Pull List Examiner. And as always, I put my full pull list down in the description below. If you are not a subscriber, please subscribe. This week, I actually went over 50 subscribers, which is a new milestone for me as I work my way towards that 100 goal. And at that 100 mark, I am going to be having a comic giveaway uh, for a special Batman Catwoman exclusive with an exclusive cover. So stay tuned for that as we hit the 100 mark. And thanks for watching and remember to read them, bag them, and board them. Have a good week.